Israeli soldiers fired warning shots towards Syria on Sunday after a Syrian mortar shell hit an IDF post in the Golan Heights. Three other mortar rounds landed in the territory claimed by Israel on Thursday. Sarah Seidner is live for us in CNN Jerusalem with more about this shelling that took place today. Sarah. Uh, well, Natalie, look, here's what's been happening. Over the past eight or so days, there have been several incidents uh, where the war in Syria has spilled over into the Golan Heights and into the demilitarized zone between Israel and Syria. Uh, what we saw today were more mortars coming over into the Golan Heights. For the first time, though, Israel has responded by firing shots into Syria. They say they are warning shots. They have also uh, called up the U.N. and made a formal complaint. Uh, this is the fourth incident in the past eight days where some of that... Uh, war that's going on. The civil war in Syria has actually affected uh, the Golan Heights. The first was on last Saturday. There were three tanks seen in the demilitarized zone. This is the no man's land where there aren't supposed to be any Israeli soldiers or any Syrian soldiers, but tanks did enter the demilitarized zone, though the tanks were pointed towards Syria and fired towards Syria. Then there was an incident where an Israeli military jeep was hit by bullets coming from Syria. Nobody was injured. There was also a mortar that fell, and this is the second time that a mortar has fallen into the Golan Heights. So far, uh, no one in that area has been injured by the war in Syria, but it is, of course, of concern to Israel, and they say that they do not believe they're being attacked. They would have a much different response if they thought that the Syrian government or the rebels were trying to attack Israel. They do believe this is Syria's internal war spilling over into the Golan Heights. Natalie? That must uh, be still creating some tension for the government watching this and for the people trying to figure out what's going on as well there, what's been the reaction. That's true. The prime minister actually mentioned it today when he spoke. Uh, he talked about uh, what is happening in Syria, that they are watching it very closely. But he also talked about what has been happening in Gaza. There has been a lot of rocket fire, several deaths, Six people killed in Gaza, uh, four soldiers injured, and several civilians injured uh, after there has been a back and forth rocket attacks from Gaza. It started with a, an attack on an Israeli tank uh, where it was targeted by uh, a group in Gaza that fired into this tank, injured four soldiers those soldiers, two of them in serious condition because of shrapnel wounds. That ended up getting a reaction, of course, from Israel. They fired back into the same area uh, where this uh, anti-tank missile came from. That ended up hitting a funeral home. There were several civilians, of course, inside that funeral home. Four people were killed there. Uh, then overnight, rockets kept coming over from Gaza into Israel. They had wounded uh, several civilians with shrapnel. Israel responded with airstrikes, killing two militants uh, in the area where they believe there was uh, weapons and where some of those weapons were being fired. Natalie? All right, Sarah Seidner for us uh, on these two fronts. Thank you, Sarah. Live from Israel for us. For the second time in two days, Israeli forces have fired into Syria in response to a mortar shell falling near an Israeli army post. On Sunday, Israel sent a warning shot into Syria after a mortar shell hit an Israeli military post in Golan Heights, an Israeli-held territory. Monday, another stray mortar shell from Syria fell near that same post. Israel has responded by sending a shot toward the source of the fire, this time hitting a Syrian artillery launcher. According to The Guardian, an Israeli spokesperson has hinted that they believe the Syrian regime intentionally fired the mortars into Israel. She said, up until yesterday, our assessment was that ordinance that had fallen in Israel was a spillover from the international conflict inside Syria. Our assessment has changed within the last 24 hours. Fox News' Leland Vittert reports Israelis are concerned about the potential spread of the Syrian civil war into their country, a concern also held by neighboring Turkey. They do not want to be brought into the Syrian civil war. They say that is something literally happening on the other side of the border. There's a lot of minefields, but they say they will protect every inch on this side of the border. The Israeli military sent a complaint to the United Nations saying fire emanating from Syria into Israel will not be tolerated and will be responded to with severity.
But as one expert writes in the Huffington Post, it's not likely that Israel would do anything more than complain to the UN and shoot the occasional mortar shell across the border. The Syrian violence simply doesn't pose a serious enough threat to Israel for anything more. All of the cross-border violence has been limited and hasn't reached over the Golan to hit the more densely populated northern Galilee. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toomes. Multiple sources, the real story.